Hi, this is Warner Crocker from GottaBeMobile.com. Coming to you with another GottaBeMobile.com Ink Show. Before we get started on the subject matter of this Ink Show, take a moment or two to just say a big thank you and a shout out to our Ink Show and podcast sponsor, uh, that's Mobile Demand, the good folks who make rugged tablet PCs that you can bang around and do all kinds of wonderful things with. Uh, so head on over to www.mobildemand.com, check out what they have to offer. Tell them the gang from GottaBeMobile.com sent you. We'll be happy, they'll be happy. And hey, we'll be able to keep doing all these ink shows. All right, what are we going to talk about today? Well, today we're going to talk about uh, one of the uh, software applications or apps that I use to go back and forth between a tablet PC and uh, the iPad. And that's called Mobile Noter. Now, Mobile Noter works with OneNote. You remember OneNote? Well, maybe you don't because Microsoft still insists on keeping OneNote one of the greatest secrets that there ever was. OneNote is a killer application for any PC, but especially for a tablet PC, because it lets you um, ink notes, type notes, put in anything you want. You can print any document into OneNote. You have everything there. It's searchable. Uh, it's a great way to store information that you might be doing on a project or projects. Uh, it's a, just a wonderful application. Tell you the truth, I've been using a lot of uh, Mac hardware here lately, and the one application I miss the most is OneNote. Um, when I'm working on my Mac here and I have a virtual machine going with Windows, it's primarily to use OneNote. That's how much I like it. Well, anyway, on a tablet PC, OneNote's one of my main pieces of software that I use here because I am frequently taking notes when I'm in a meeting, this kind of thing, or marking up things, printing things to it, saving things in it, you name it, I use OneNote a lot. Well, what is OneNote and how does that work with the iPad? Well, it works with Mobile Noter, like I said. Mobile Noter is a note-taking application in and of itself, but it's also a syncing uh, application that allows you to have your notes go back and forth between the two devices. Um, it has two different ways of syncing. One is via Wi-Fi. You can set it up with a specific computer, and of course, they both have to be on the same Wi-Fi network, and you can sync your documents, sync your OneNote notes back and forth that way. Or you can do it via uh, Mobile Noters Cloud. Now this is a paid service and you have to pay for that. Um, and that works reasonably well. It's a lot slower than I'd like for it to be. So anyway, I've got some notes here in OneNote on the tablet PC. I'm going to show you what it looks like here on, this is get closer to the camera here and you can see. Um, and hopefully you can see everything. This is what this looks like when you bring up Mobile Noter on your iPad. Okay, um, and I've got a notebook here. You're, they're arranged by notebooks and quick notes, and I'll talk about that in a second. Um, this is the testing notebook, and you can see I've got some ink here. It's a lot of this is testing, etc., etc., etc. Well. Um, you have multiple ways to enter notes when you're working on the iPad here. One of those ways is to use text um, and just bring up a keyboard. Bring up a keyboard there. Well, maybe it's not because this is an ink note. Or you can also have some ink options here. you got different colors that you can work with, this kind of thing. This will sync back over using Mobile Note Sync's uh, service to OneNote. Okay? Um, back up this way, you see the notebook interface again. We also have Quick Notes, which enables you to either insert some pictures or, and here we really only can't, boy, that's interesting why I'm not able to bring the keyboard up while I'm doing this here. There we go. Um, this is really kind of deceptive because you see this little ink line underneath the date there? Makes you think that you can ink on this. Wrong. Um, you can only in Quick Notes use the keyboard okay and I think that's kind of unfortunate because a quick note to me is something that I just want to jot down maybe sync it back over to one note uh, myself so going back to this testing notebook you can see here and I've got a couple of sections and I've got several different kinds of notes here you can see that here's something that I printed and I've highlighted um, here in mobile noter uh, not highlighted really circled it's synced back over and you can see that it syncs over exactly the same into OneNote. Okay, that's how that works. And let's go back up and take a look at this. Back we're here with uh, this is a test, this is a test. There's one that I did here. 
that I'm looking for where we have you know we can insert pictures into these notes as well and this will sync back over into theoretically this is in a testing notebook let's see if I can find it here for you yeah. not having much luck finding it right now but uh, and actually that brings up one of the problems here you know interestingly enough sometimes when I mix photos, ink, and text here, it doesn't sync back over quite like I want. So, interesting that that showed up here in the ink show as I'm doing it. And that's one of the problems that I have with Mobile Noter. It's a great idea. For those of us who use and know OneNote, we love this application. We would love, I don't know how many times I've heard people say, give me OneNote on the iPad, give me OneNote on the iPad. Um, but this is the closest that we've got at the moment, and there's some syncing issues back and forth. Now, I use the cloud service. I don't use the Wi-Fi service, but I've experienced this mostly on the cloud service. I tested it with the Wi-Fi service uh, as far as that's concerned. But this note did not come over in my last sync. Here's problem two. I would show you how this sync works. It takes a long time. Now, I'm syncing two notebooks. You can sync any of your OneNote notebooks over to your iPad. But the more data you have in those notebooks, the longer that sync takes. It's not automatic, it's not quick, um, and because the iPad doesn't have multitasking capability, it's not something that's going to happen in the background. So I find myself limiting myself as I'm working on this. Now, to be honest, I keep going back to Mobile Noter and trying to use it for a couple of reasons. One, um, it's a great way to do some inking on the iPad here. You know, I mean, I'm using this Targus stylus here, and uh, you can see, well, maybe you can see, yeah, I can ink right away. It doesn't have palm rejection, which is an unfortunate thing, unlike some of the other applications that I've covered in some of the other posts, um, like Penultimate. Um, but you could take ink notes in this. I'd love to be able to use this more so it can go back and forth to OneNote, but I've found other solutions um, using Penultimate, for example, and emailing all of those files into Evernote as a PDF. Uh, I'm hoping that the Mobile Noter gang continues to work on this and continues to make it better. Um, I know that they're working on an Android app now. I know they've continued to make improvements on this. Um, interestingly enough, we also have a version of Mobile Noter here for the iPhone. And this one just got a little recently updated as well. Um, but you can see that you know, you can take a look at your notes. You don't have all the same kind of capabilities that you have um, on the iPad when you're using this. But uh, it comes kind of close uh, as far as that's concerned. So it's, I guess the best way to describe it is this is one of those applications that I really want to see get better and get better in a hurry. I love using OneNote. I would love to be able to sync back and forth effortlessly and seamlessly and not have applications, well, excuse me, notes, kind of get lost and getting sync errors and taking so long. So hopefully the good folks at Mobile Noter will take care of that. All right, well, I guess we're done with this ink show, and uh, we want to once again take a moment and say a big thank you to Mobile Demand, our ink show sponsor. Please head over to www.mobildemand.com, check out what they have to offer. Uh, we'll be happy, they'll be happy if you do that, and we'll be able to keep doing more of these. I'm hoping here in the near future that I'm going to be uh, doing an ink show that a lot of people have requested, which is showing you how to do some different inking on some of the different applications that I've been trying out here on the iPad. All right, this is Warner Crocker for GottaBeMobile.com saying, hey, we'll see you on the next ink show. Take care.